So I'm standing out in the country in the beautiful Newburgh area, and I'm here with Rick Naylor of Visual Scaping. And Rick, um, first of all, tell me why, why we're here. Why are we filming here? Well, we're here to talk about water features, the proper way to use water features, and what they can do to help uh, really add to the ambiance of your backyard. So let's define specifically water features. What does that include? Like a little fountain up to this beautiful thing that's here behind us? Yeah, there's a wide range of water features. Um, anywhere from just a pot that's a bubbler to a three stone column, single stone column, whatever you want to do with that. And then we have some really large water features, dramatic water features like we have here. So let's talk about that because this is what you've just put in at this location, right? Mm -hmm. And this <laughs> seems overwhelmingly massive to accomplish if I were to think, oh, I'll do this on my own. Right. So let's talk about some of the, the things that really must occur to have longevity with a water feature like this. Well, it's really all about location, you know, because if you're going to have a water feature, it needs to be in the living space so you right. can enjoy it. The sound of the water is there to relax you, kind of help with some noise abatement if you need it or whatever, so your ears will focus on the, uh, on the sound of the water. It's kind of and like so, a white noise in your yard. Absolutely, absolutely. It's there to relax you. So right. um, in this case, we, we built this water feature because we had a natural slope and it just fit to have a water feature here because it would just kind of add to the whole thing and go for that northwest look that we're looking for. And the um, homeowners, they wanted something. They knew they wanted a water feature, right? Right. Okay, and so then you just worked with them on Correct. the lay of the land. Okay. Correct. Saying this would work better than trying to do something small because it's a huge yard. Yeah. yeah. So we needed something a little bit bigger to kind of fit with what we've got here. So, But even if you have a tiny yard, you can put in a water feature. Sure, sure. Um, you know, the key to water features is the water just recycles all the time, no matter which one it is. Where you have to be careful is you make sure it doesn't run out of water. So whether you fill it by hand or if you put an autofill system on it, which runs off your sprinkler system, which is the safer way to do it, then uh, you won't have a problem. The other thing is the key is the using the, if you're going to put plant material around a, a water feature, you need to put the right plant material so you don't poke a hole in your liner. And you actually have a story about when that occurred with bamboo. Right, right, exactly. I had a customer who we went out to, uh, and we have to re-tear it out and redo it that somebody else put in, um, that they had planted bamboo around it because it had that kind of, you know, Asian look to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. A year and a half later, the bamboo had poked a big hole in the liner, and so the whole thing had to be ripped out and very expensively right. put back in again. So be very selective on the plant material you use around a water feature. And then, you know, you said autofill. I like that idea but you really have to make sure that when you're installing something of this size, that the autofill, it, it's going to fill up even if there's a hole somewhere. So it's, right. it's well, going to find its level. Yeah, the autofill's <laughs> on a float. So if, right. if it's, if, even if there is a leak and it drops down to a certain point, it's going to refill. Right. But if you, that's how you know you have a leak, if it keeps refilling and, and recycling and over. over and over and too often. So that's, that's one, one good way to tell. Um, if it's a small leak, obviously, it's, a, it's really hard to tell because it's not going not gonna to cycle as, as quickly. Yeah. But um, all water features, unless it's just a, a, a pot you know, that you have in your, it has a reservoir. And uh, that reservoir, whether it's just a three column, stone column uh, water feature, you have to make sure that the reservoir stays filled. If you hook it up to your sprinkler system on an autofill, then you never have to worry about it. If you don't and you fill it by hand, you got to be real diligent to make right. sure that the water level doesn't get down and you're going to burn up the pump. So You have to pay attention. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. you know, one of the things that I, I love about, about your landscape company is that you guys, not only do you do all different types of paths and hardscaping, but you also do amazing water features like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, so that's, yeah. that's our, amazing. Our contractor, Desire Landscape, that we work with uh, exclusively, uh, he's very, very good about making sure that everything gets done to, a, to, to my specifications, yeah, which, right. are, which are very high. So, <laughs> Well, you know, there you have it. We, we love coming out here at, at jobs that Rick does and, and looking at the beautiful stuff that comes out of this mind, which amazes me because he does such brilliant work. And so for more information, we invite you to go to Gardentime.tv. We'll click over their website. And if you want a waterfall in your own yard, why don't you contact Rick and talk about it. Thanks, Rick. Thank you.